Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Malikarjun here. Uh, let's get started with the today's uh, topic. That is going to be very interesting topic, I can say, because I'm going to quickly demonstrate on if you have a full backup or if you have a level zero and level one admin backup, can I use those backups to restore my database in the lower environment? For example, from production database backup to development or test without any archive logs, without having any archive log backup, right? If you can see here, my headings of this today's topic, Rman clone or Rman duplicate database with no archive logs. If you have, a, if you don't have archive log, is your backup valid? Is your full level zero backup or level one backup is a valid backup? Can I still use that level zero or level one backup to restore or to clone my production database into development or test database without any archive log backup, right? If there is no archive log backup, do you still need to use those level zero and level one backup to restore and recover my database? Is that the question, right? So for that question, today after the end of the session, you will get to know the what is the exact answer for this one. Do I really need archive logs to do a clone of my database, right? This is the Oracle MOS document here, if you can see. Uh, if you have MOS access, you can go ahead and then deep dive into this particular MOS document here, 27899401. Right, so let's quickly get started with the demonstration. I have a source database, DevDB, and which is running under Oracle Lab 1. And same time, I have a target server, Oracle Lab 3, where we can use case 1, Rman clone, and case 2 with a restore and recover method. Right, so these two methods, we're going to see it here in this today's demo. So I already written a blog for that one. You can refer this command over here. Right, so high level steps. On the source side, I'm going to take a full database backup here. Let's go ahead and run that on the source side, right? So this is my source database, Oracle Lab 1, where my DevDB is running. So I'm gonna connect to my Oracle user, set the environment to DevDB. Sorry for the typo, DevDB, right? Rman target slash, I'm gonna connect to my Rman command prompt. I'm gonna run the full backup, run block, allocate channel one, cross check backup, cross check Oracle log all, backup as a backup set, format, I'm going to take into use your own backup. I'm going to take full backup of my database plus Oracle log backup. Again, as I said, Oracle log backups are not needed. So still, I'm going to go ahead and then take the Oracle log, including my current control file and release the channel. So this is my typical uh, command, full database backup. I'm going to take that full database backup on the source side. Right. So first, it won't Take your Oracle log backup here, sequence number one, two, three, four, five, five sequence numbers, and followed by sequence number again, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So two backup pieces for my Oracle log, followed by five data files, uh, starting full database backup set, right? In this particular backup set, it has taken all these five data files. And this is my backup set here, backup piece name and followed by your Oracle log, sequence number uh, thread one, sequence number six. What happened here? Thread one, sequence number one to 12. And here, what happened? This is sequence number six. And followed by your control file and auto backup. Okay, anyway, uh, your backup is ready here. Let's go ahead and validate your backup, U01 backup. Right, so your Oracle log backup is here and your control file and full backup followed by your SP file and control file auto backup is here. So I'm just gonna use only this control file and full backup. I'm not gonna take any of the Oracle log backup into my target server. So my target server is here, IPA. So this is my IP address of the target server. I'm gonna copy all those backups here. I'm gonna copy only this control file, SCP control file as a Oracle user to that target server, the control file backup, U01 backup. Right, so control file is done. So now I'm gonna take this full backup copy, SCP into that target server here. Done. So once the backup is ready, is that full backup useful to restore and recover our Armin clone on the target server. That's a demo what we're gonna achieve it today. Let it complete here. Right, so the 
copy is done. Let's go to target targets over here. U01 backup. Done. So you have control file backup. You have full database backup here. That's fair enough. And now I'm going to copy the, the fast recovery area. Whatever this auto backup of SP file and control file, I'm going to copy that as well. So copy this one and copy it to the same location on the target server. Right, done. So let's go back here. So you got all the four, four backup pieces. One is auto backup, and one is your full backup, and one is your control file backup. So everything is ready here. Let's go back to that blog. So once the backup is done, so what I'm going to do here, the restore the test database, the first option is going to fail. So we know this is my duplicate database command. Let's go and put it out here. Duplicate target database, you're going to fail because uh, you're going to look for your RK log and we don't have RK log here. Let's go here and I'm going to connect to Oracle user. I'm going to set dot or INV test DB. I'm going to restore it as a test DB and already installed my 19C Oracle home. I'm going to set my Oracle home as per this source, whatever that 19C Oracle home. Right, this is my 19C Oracle home. I'll just take it over here. Right, so ENV pipeline gap capital Vora. Right, so you can see here test DB, Oracle base, Oracle home, everything is set. So go into your Oracle home slash DBS. Right, and then we have init test DB. Vora. So this is my init test DB. Vora here. So I already set all the parameters here DB name, DB nickname, audit file, test, DB create online log test one, test two, db file name convert, log file name convert, and your control files, and you have your recovery file test and archive log test. So this is your sample dummy init file. Already I prepared over here. I'm gonna use this p file now. SQL plus slash s dba. Startup no mount. Startup no mount p file equal to, I'm gonna give that p file complete path followed by my init file. So you started your test DB on the target server in no mount mode. Right now, our main auxiliary slash. I'm gonna connect to my our main auxiliary slash. It connected to test DB, which is not mounted because we just started in no mount. I'm going to go ahead and run this one. Duplicate target database test DB using that backup location, use your own backup, no file name check. So this command is going to fail saying that you would duplicate our man duplicate command look for archive log backups. And since we don't have archive log backup, the command will fail. Right, that is gone. So memory script duplicate target database here, starting duplicate database at this time and searching for DBID. This is the DBID it found and content of memory script. It's a create SP file from memory and it created the SP file here, shutdown database and your database is now starting. Right, your database is started here. Database instance is started here and it's gonna run this memory script here. Alter system set DB name and admin duplicate command here. You're gonna use this, restore your primary control file using this backup piece. So use your own backup. This is your control file, SP file auto backup. And you're gonna restore your control file. And then you're gonna set this SQL statement here. Now your database instance is shutting down. After that, it'll once it will comes up and then it will restore the control files. That you can see your database instance came up and it has restored your control file. You can see control file one and control file two. And after it has restored, it has mounted your database and now your duplicate command failed. Using see rman uh, 05541, no archive log found in the target server. So when you're using this rman duplicate command, you should have at least one archive log backup after the database backup. Otherwise your duplicate command will fail, right? So you can see no archive log found in the target database. So in the backup directory, you should have archive log backup. Without that, you will not be able to use this rman duplicate command. Then how 
we can overcome this error message. So again, I can just kill my instance. So go ahead and kill your database instance. Right, again, connect back to your database SQL plus SHDBA. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start one more time. Connected to idle instance. I'm gonna start my database again one more time in no mount mode. Right, same command startup no mount SP file. Using that same P file, I'm gonna start it one more time. And this time, what I'm gonna use instead of this duplicate command, I'm gonna use this duplicate command here. Same command duplicate target database to test DB backup location. No file name check, no redo. It means don't do any recovery. Just restore my database using those backup pieces. Right, so again, instance is started here. Let's exit, connect back to our main auxiliary slash, and then now use with this no redo option because since we don't have any archaeology backup, so I don't have any other options. I have to go with this no redo option. Right, it's going to do the same thing. You want to start your database in no mount and then you want to restore your SP file, restore control file, start with your database or restore. Right, so if you can go here on the same here, I already listed out all the logs here, whatever I'm showing it in this demo, all the logs, everything is available over here. Right. Instance is down and instance is started. Right, and then it is executing this memory script. Restore primary control file from this auto backup. Right. Go back all the way up here again. Right, instance is down. Right, instance is started now and it has restored my control file. And this time we're gonna mount the database and it'll start with the right it database mounted and it started with the restore here. It did not complain that no archaeolog found this time. Right, you can see it has used this full backup piece and it has restored all these four data files. Right, and then you can see here recover database, it says no redo, it'll not do any recovery. And then finished recovery because we we mentioned no redo. It means don't do any recovery. And then after that, it has it is recreating your control file now here. Right, it'll set the DB name to test DB, and it'll recreate your control file here. Right, you can see it is recreated your control file here. And after that, it has done the switch data files and alter database, uh, open reset logs. Right, your Restore is completed. So whenever you have only full level zero and level one backup, you have to use this arm and duplicate command with no redo. And if you don't use this mentioned no redo, then it is arm and duplicate target database expect. There should be at least one archive log backup after that database backup. Right, that's your case one, restore target database using this arm and clone without no redo and with redo here. And there is a restore and recover command. Right, let's go here. There's a restore and recover method. So we can try that method as well. Let's see what happens. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one more init file, init dev db. So this is my init dev db here. Again, same thing, db name, db nickname, audit file destination, db create file dest, online log dest one dest two, control files, db recovery file destination size, and archaeolog destination. So this is a dummy init file here for your init dev db. I'm gonna set the environment to dev db now. Dev db. I'm gonna set the same Oracle home, 19C Oracle home. All right, and then connect back to your SQL plus SSTBA. I'm gonna do the same startup no mount. No mount p file equal to I'm gonna use that p file tbs slash init dev db dot ora. Because source is DevDB, I'm gonna restore it on the target side as a DevDB. So in that case, I'm gonna use this restore database and record database option. Right, your database is started in no mount here. 
since i'm using this restore and recover method i need to connect armen as a target armen target slash not armen auxiliary i should not use armen auxiliary because i'm using restore recover method i should connect as armen target slash right so let's go ahead and then check your backup pieces here let's exit one more time cd u01 backup ll so this is your auto backup here i'm going to change that auto backup name here Right, connect back to your Armen target. Right, I'm going to use this restore control file. So your database is started in no mount here. And now I'm going to restore my control file using that auto backup. Right, it has restored my control files here. And now I'm going to do alter database mount. Since my control files are restored, it'll go to mount mode now. And after that, I'm going to do catalog start with all those backups. I'm going to register with control file, whatever this newly created control file, you want to register those backups. So the catalog is done here. And then I'm going to run this just restore database. And you want to see it is using that huge own backup, full backup here. And it is restoring all these five data files or the four data files. And then record database again. If you do this record database here, it'll not work out, it'll fail because there's nothing to recover. Right? Record database it says no backup of archaeologs found in this particular backup location, user on backup. Right? So it's not going to work out. So now, here, alter you try to open alter database, it'll not work out. Oh, sorry. So alter database open, so it'll not open. So you have to either Try with a reset log and no reset log. So even if you try with alter database open, no reset log, it'll not open. Right? Since you restored your database, restored your control file, you have to open your database with a reset log. Right? Alter database open reset logs. Right. So your database is opened. Connect back now. SQL plus as is DBA. So your dev DB has restored successfully. So the underlying fact here is if you see these high level steps here in this log, whatever I mentioned, when you have a source database backup, you have only level zero and level one backup, but no archaeolog backup. In that case, it is left to you whether you are using this restore the on the target side, you're using restore recover method. If you're using restore recover method, no worries, you can go ahead and do the restore and recover method. The recovery will not work and open your database with a reset log. But when you're using this Armen clone or Armen duplicate, so remember when you use this duplicate target database without that no redo, it's gonna fail because it look for RK log. And you have to use this keyword called no redo. Then only your recovery or Armen clone will you know, proceed further. All right, that's a quick intro or quick update for the today's session, guys. I'll see you in next session. Thank you.